Let's factor the equation x squared minus 2x minus 35. And to do that, we'll use these guidelines here. So the first thing we want to do is set up a skeleton equation like this here. So this is our skeleton equation, and that's useful to help us get things in order. Next, we're going to add signs to the skeleton equation. So we have a negative and a negative. So if both the middle term and the last term are negative, we'll set the signs up like this. We'll put a positive here and a negative here. At this point, we can find the factors for the last term, that's the negative 35, that equal the middle term, that's the negative 2. So if you think about 35, the factors of 35, 1 times 35, that's not going to equal the negative 2. 7 times 5, that could work because if we put a 7 here and a 5 here, 5 and 7 gives us negative 2. So these should be the factors for x squared minus 2x minus 35. But you should always check your work with the FOIL method. So we'll take the first terms, that gives us x squared, the outside terms, x times negative 7, inside 5 times x, and then the last term, 5 times negative 7 is negative 35, that all equals 0. And we can combine these terms right here, and that gives us, and this is the same thing we started with. So we correctly factored the equation x squared minus 2x minus 35. Let's quickly find the values for x that will make this all here equal 0, make this a true statement. So we could say x plus 5 equals 0, so x would equal a negative 5. Over here, x minus 7 equals 0, so x equals a positive 7. If you put negative 5 in for x, you do the math, all of this will equal 0. 0 equals 0, that's a true statement. Likewise, you could put 7 in for x, do the math, all this would equal 0. If you use the quadratic equation to do this, you'd get the same answers. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 2x minus 35. Thanks for watching.